Hey guys, going on slip first here. Uh, actually, shit. Um, <clears throat> bring you, you my prediction of uh, the Charlie Castano rematch. Uh, I think I've got Jamal Charlie winning this on points. Uh, maybe a knockout, but I'm going go for points just to be safe. Um, uh, I rewatched the fight. Uh, initially, when the fight happened, I had it in favor of Castano eight to four. <clears throat> Recently, I rewatched it. I had it a draw six six. Uh, six rounds apiece for you know uh, both fighters. Um, it was a lot closer than what I remembered, and the reason why I got Charlo winning this is because, despite the fact that he, his work rate was too low, um, he was hanging around the ropes way too much, uh, for at least for my liking, um, in that fight, even in that point, I still feel like he did enough, to uh, win enough rounds for for it to be a draw, I guess, um, you know, so even if that version of Charlo, where I didn't really feel like he was doing the best he could, even he was able to do a draw. And um, in his past fights, I've seen him do a bit more. Now, obviously, Charlo, in his fights, he, he's always someone that, like, you know, likes to counter and such. He always likes to count off what a fight is doing. He doesn't really tend to throw that much. He's got a good jab, but he uses it sparingly. Um, he didn't go to the body that much at all in the Castano fight. Um, so I went back and watched the uh, Jason Rosario fight. And despite that being a much shorter fight, I seen him go into the body a lot more in that fight than he did in the Castano fight. So I thought like, okay, he was able to win six rounds against Castano without even doing that. See what happens if he does go to the body against uh, Castano like he did against Jason Rosario. And I feel like that gave him the upper hand because he, he does do that. He went to the body several times against Rosario and even knocked him out of a <clears throat> with a jab to the body. Um, he went to the body several times against uh, Tony Harrison as well throughout the whole fight. Now, he was getting dominated in the Tony, Tony Harrison rematch. Um, Tony Harrison is not an, an out-and-out pressure fighter like Castano is. But Tony Harrison, what Tony Harrison does have that Castano doesn't, in my opinion, is that Tony Harrison has better defense. Um, he has a better jab, he uses jab more. And is a, um, he's a smart fighter, you know, in my opinion. Um that's the way I see it, you know, he's just got a better jab, which helped him a lot in that fight, he's a sharper puncher, um, you know, he's a sharper puncher, uh, you know, I think he has better counters as well, um, Tony Harrison, <clears throat> than Castano does, um, the only thing that Harrison has, hasn't got that Castano has is probably the chin, um, I guess stamina, you know, and it's just the fact that he's a, he's an out and out pressure fighter, so the fact that Harrison isn't an out and out pressure fight like Cassano is, there's certain things in does in there that made him effective against Charlo, even when he was a pressure fighter, you know, if you get my drift. Um <clears throat> so even though Charlo was even behind in a rematch, in my opinion, um he, he was still going to the body against Tony Harrison, which eventually slowed Harrison down and eventually set Harrison up for that knockout shot, um, which got him knocked out in the eleventh round of their rematch, you know, so you know, I felt like, again, if Charlo was able to make it a close fight without really, you know, um, doing what he usually does, I feel like if he just makes a couple adjustments, uh, adjustments that he's basically done in his last, uh, you know, his previous fights, then I feel like he'd be able to get up hand on Castano. Because, you know, one thing I didn't like about Charlo is that he was around the, he was along the ropes way too often in a Castano fight. Now, don't get me wrong, in the Rosario fight, he was along the ropes a lot, you know, but at least against Rosario, he fought the fight a little bit more in the centre of the ring. While against Castano, it seemed like he fought exclusively off the ropes. You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. There was times where Charlo had success um, while he was on the ropes. <clears throat> the two times he hurt Castano was when he was on the ropes. Um, when he counted him with uh, the left hook in the f second round, which hurt Castano, I believe. And then he hit him with an, a left hook in the tenth round, which hurt Castano again. You know, while he was on the ropes. You know, so he does have his advantages, but at the same time, Charlie himself got hurt while he was on the ropes in the third round, you know. And there were several times where, you know, Castano was able to score points while Charlie was on the ropes, you know. So while he does have his advantages, he also has his disadvantages. And with Castano being out and out pressure fight, he's always going to like it when someone like Charlo is um is on the ropes because Charlo's not going to be able to use his reach, uh, able to utilize his higher rate of punish to, you know, what he needs to be, you know. So, um, the ideal I, way I thought um, like Charlo could win this fight is if he wants to be near the ropes, he can do so, but try and get the fire more uh, in the center of the ring, you know, uh, go to the body, 
because he, he barely did that against Cristiano, go to the body. Um, even in that Tony Harrison fight, you know, Charles not really a high output fighter, but against Tony Harrison, he actually threw a lot of punches in that fight. You know, in the Jason Rosario fight, he didn't really throw that many punches. Uh, in the Cristiano fight, he was he didn't really throw that many punches himself, really. Um, so, um, I, I guess Charles should just you know try for a bit more punches, but he can get a bit wild sometimes, so that also has its disadvantages too. You know, so what I like Charles to do is just um try and stay off the ropes a bit more. Um, try getting his jab a bit more, go to the body more, and still try and counter Costana, Costana, you know, because Costana can be counted as showed in the first fight, you know, and, you know, it's not the only, the only it's not like the only time that Charlo can counter Costana is on the ropes anyways, you know, at least the way I see it, I don't think the only time he can counter Costana is when he's on the ropes, I'm pretty sure he can still counter him when he's in the centre ring, you know, he showed that in his previous fights, you know, when he counted uh, Tony Harrison in the rematch, he wasn't on the ropes at all. You know what I mean? He was in the center of the ring doing so. So I don't think the only way he can count Castano is when he's off the ropes or anything like on the ropes or anything like that. That's just the way I see it. You know. But yeah, I think Charlo's got this. Uh, I'm picking him on points to win the rematch. I f- I think he'll turn up a lot better or slightly better in the rematch. He hasn't really got to make that many adjustments in my opinion. I think he just needs to do what he was doing in his previous fights and just you know, not be as one dim- a bit one dimensional like it was in the first fight. Just only looking for counters and not really throwing that many punches and spending a bit too much time on the ropes. You know, that's the way I say. I think he just needs to utilize movement more, try and get the fight a little bit more center ring, and you know, go to the body. You know, get in his jab a bit more, and still counter Cristiano. I think he has success that way. You know, but yeah, I'm picking Charlo on points to defeat Cristiano in the rematch. Um, I still think it'll be a tough fight for Charlo. I still think it'll be a tough fight for Charlo. Um, you know, considering that t- uh, just considering the fact that Cassano is still a good fighter, still a good pressure fighter. You know, he has nice footwork. You know, he throws a lot of punches. You know, he's he's a bit clever in there, Cassano as well. You know, he's a bit clever in there. He knows when to punch. He knows when not to punch. You know. Um, he gets his ha- his hands up there, nice and you know. Puts his hands up nicely, you know. He, he makes it so that he doesn't get hit easily, you know. So he's a bit clever in there. You know, he's going to punch when not to punch, you know. And when he got her against Charlo, you know, um, he was able to move around the ring and such, you know, not make himself a big target, you know. You know, keep the distance between him and Charlo. When he got hurt, he moved around the ring, he moved around the ring, you know, until he got his um his wits about him back. So he, he does have some IQ there instead so of just... Standing there and trading with Charlo, um, trading with Charlo because he doesn't know what to do, like a lot of pressure fighters do, you know, especially when Charlo hurt with a hook anyway. So, the best thing to do is not trade with a guy that just hurt you with a hook, you know, you want to move around the ring so they can't get that kind of shot for you again, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I still think it'd be a tough fight for Charlo. Um, Castano would bring it, and Charlo's couple fights being tough as well. The Rosario fight wasn't easy by any stretch of the imagination. Rosario won, um, a lot of rounds in their fight as well. Uh, and Tony Harrison, in my opinion, was winning the rematch until he got clipped. And he lost to Tony Harrison. So, yeah. I think it'd be a tough fight, but I got Jamal on this. Oh, on points. Anyways, it's the first. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.